welcome to the Motion Tag series. In this series of short videos, we will cover all the tags associated with the motion layout. Today we're going to talk about key triggers. Motion layout allows you to think of animations as a layer on top of your UI or an integral part of your UI. You can choose based on the needs of your application. But sometimes you need callbacks back into your code. And key trigger allows that. It calls the on transition trigger method of the add transition listener. Key trigger has the same motion target and frame position as other keyframes, but trigger ID is useful to identify your trigger to the callback. In general, key triggers don't generate any UI on the screen, but can be used to allow your application to control the animation. The interaction showed here needs key triggers to achieve the desired effect. In this case, key trigger is directly calling the show and hide methods of the material components floating action button. It can directly call simple methods on a view using three attributes. On cross, on positive cross, and on negative cross. These attributes cause the methods to be called when crossing the key position point. We'll be adding more functionality to key triggers in 2.1, so stay tuned. Congratulations, you made it all the way through the Motion Tag series. Thank you for sticking with us. We really hope you enjoyed the series. The library is being developed directly on GitHub, so check out Constraint Layout on GitHub. The link is in the description. Enjoy some highlights in the entire series.